halfway down the trail here. Pan in their moved here in here. You can see some of the remains of some structures They're down in this location. Yeah, look, it's a toy. It's officially abandoned. Actually, that's a pull ladder. <laughs> yeah, pull ladder close enough. <laughs> You see these concrete blocks here. I believe these are for a water trough that came down through here from the wash house across the street. Steel structure above it. Yeah, some kind of a steel structure above it. buildings. Wow. Be pickers. You see some of the walls coming down. this building but I'm not totally sure. A lot of recent destruction as of late. This wall is actually still up not that long ago earlier this year. Looks like people are having a good time down here. It's really a shame. Now this, you can see the foundation here. More of the brick from the walls. This was opened up before, but I believe, if I remember correctly, this actually was not. I believe earlier this year this was actually still intact. It may have been cracking, crumbling, but to the rest of my knowledge, it was up as of earlier this year. Come around to the other side of it. Although I'm not a fan of graffiti by any stretch of imagination, some people do come out and do some really nice artwork. And then there's garbage that other people like to produce. I can literally say I just walked on a wall. <laughs> into this brick structure. Some pretty heavy all food there. Look at that. Back when stuff was made to last.
exact purpose of the building, I am not sure of. I was never able to find information on this location. We just happened to find it. I'm gonna jump down. Yeah. Somebody lost a shoe. It's an interesting location. I'd really love to find out more of the history of this place. See more of the foundation right there. Stop tying my shoe real quick. But when you come down here, you see the, this huge concrete retaining wall. Possibly even a loading dock. Now I realize there is another building coming off of this. You can see the line. See this line there? Oh, yeah. That's why the door's up in the air. There is a building that came right to this wall. That makes sense. And this is a step probably for an entrance for it. And there's a ceiling that makes, matches the roof up to the wall yeah, there. So there was an additional structure here. There's actually some wood laying there too. Oh, yes, I see that. Good eye. What I like to refer to these as the steps to nowhere because that's where it leads to. You can see that. Handrail pole still there, and as well. Structures over here. I don't know if anything was tied in over here or if this was just over here to the side for some reason, but. Back when it was intact. It's a beautiful area. What do we have here? I think we got another structure. Yeah. Got another structure, it looks like. Some may not think it's much, but I find these interesting. I get through the kazoo here, or whatever. Yep, we have another structure. Again, with no information, I really don't know what this is, but... Got another one over here too. Two more structures. When'd you find these? Ten seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> There's another structure.
structure. I didn't know these were here until just now either. I found them by accident. It's a good way to find stuff. Yeah, yeah, best way. Can't get a clean shot. I'm not sure what this is. I don't see why we couldn't. We had to do a touch of digging. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Roughing it through the terrain here to get to the next ruins. Finding them accidentally like this is the best way. It makes for a more exciting exploration. Now watch my foot in the terrain here, but. This is totally cool. Look at the construction here. Look at this. Who knows how old this is, but look at how well intact it is, and look at how well it's holding up. This is back when stuff was done with dignity and pride. Amazing. Clearly nobody found this either because it's not graffitied. Yeah, not at all. It's small. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is though. I don't know if it's a storage shed or... <laughs> that would make sense. All right, I'll tell you what, it is built to the hilt. Look at this roof. Look how thick the concrete. This is the roof. actually built inside the water. Yeah, it might be dug in there a little bit. It is. I think we were checking that out last earlier and I didn't even notice this was here until like you said within the last two minutes. Any ideas of what it could be? I want to think storage or something but Clearly, the, te the, the vandals haven't found it yet because it's there is no graffiti on this whatsoever. Yeah, the other depression over here, we might have something. Some kind of, I don't know, we got, looks like possibly a fire here, maybe? No, no, no. Looks like it's just coal. There's definitely some kind of depression in here. It definitely could have been something here, no doubt about it. in here and there's definitely something dug out over there mm -hmm. over here is that just rock or is that a structure up here The clearing up here is awful clean, but there was structure here at one point in time. 
It's not like a rough cut if it was just a natural way of, uh, no, it's just rough up there, okay. I thought we may have had some extra concrete structure there. But the way this is so neatly cut out, it looks like there was something here once upon a time. of some sort here. This is, this is like an old air conditioner. Yep, we got an old air conditioner housing frame here. Anybody need a used air conditioner? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh no, there's not even any guts in it. <laughs> yeah, somebody picked it clean. stone there. Unfortunately you had the litter bugs have to throw all their garbage. We got the free. <laughs> we got Debris. Oh, yeah. Truck tire. And they just did the Centralia cleanup here two weeks ago. Well three weeks ago. Apparently not. <laughs> I know they did the graffiti highway. There's a big truck tire. There's an old wide white wall. There's an old big fat Herbie from the 70s. 60 yeah, 60 series looks like. And then this old tire and wheel here. Looks like an old AMC tire wheel. What you got? Oh, jeez. That's an old bottle. So that's something left in it. No, thank you. I use scope. <laughs> Makes you wonder if there's a building here at some point in time because this place, the, the cut in here is awful clean. Yeah. You know? It's down there? Yeah. yeah. No definite, but this could be a burnt the Burnsville colliery. That's real clean down there. Like yeah, I mean it's cut out way too nice. Trees, like fresh growth. Yeah. Yeah, especially over here where it's darker. Uh-huh. It looks way too clean. It That or an air conditioner. Please don't litter. <laughs> How ironic. F2373, so I'm going to guess 1973. Wow. I think it might be a little bit flat. Really? This seal's broken. Oh, it is broken. Yeah, you're right. It is broken. 
Very. I remember the, the crystal the following company I was getting into glass jars. Some old glass from back in the day. One of the balls was dated back in 73. 46 years old. Properly. Down your gold. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, get you. Oh, sure. Sorry. Right. No problem. Yeah. More of the rock over here from the waste material. Yes. Plus one over there by that T T storage yeah, building. Goes right up to the mm -hmm. It's a beautiful location. <laughs> Might have another road over here. Looks like there could be another road over here. There could be an ending or something. Yeah. Not sure if it's part of the actual business or if it's after the fact when people, like I said, when people were dumping. Ah, see, I can do it too. <laughs> Tree killers. <laughs> Way to go, Daniel son! <laughs> Must to prepare. <laughs> One more quick view of the ruins. Down here, what we believe is the Burnsville Colliery. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good thing. Appears to be just how they made a fence with the wood and get the metal pipe in the ground. That would make sense. That's a pretty stout structure there.